Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrical Lectures. In this video, I will be showing you how to compute the transfer function of a closed loop system. It is observed that many people face difficulties in computing the closed loop transfer function when they encounter a system having multiple blocks, uh, for example, a different block for actuator, then plant, then controller, and then feedback system. So, uh, people are very much confused. But in this video, I will be telling you a very simple and generic procedure through which you can easily compute the transfer function of any closed loop system with negative feedback as well as with positive feedback. So, let us proceed. So, this is an example closed loop system. The first point is that you need to calculate two types of gains. What are those gains? The first one is feed forward gain. This feed forward gain is basically the complete gain of the feed forward path starting from the initial input to the final output y of s. So this complete gain is denoted by fg which is the feed forward gain and in our case for this particular block diagram, this feed forward gain comes out to be k of s into g of s. So it will be the product of all the transfer functions encountered in this complete feed forward path. So this is our first gain, right? Now the second gain that we need to compute the closed loop transfer function is the loop gain. and we denote it by Lg. What is this loop gain? This loop gain is basically the complete gain of this feedback loop. So it will be the product of all the transfer functions encountered in this loop along with the signs of each block. If there are adders or subtractors, you need to include the sign as well. So for this particular system, what will be the loop gain? If you see closely, we will be having the product of k of s, g of s, h of s and the minus sign which is encountered over here. Right? So, let us now write the loop gain Lg, it will be equal to minus k of s, g of s and h of s. So now since we have obtained these two gains, it is only one step to compute the closed loop transfer function. So the closed loop transfer function in terms of these two gains is given by Fg divided by 1 minus Lg. If you have the negative feedback system, then you will have minus sign over here in the denominator and you will have positive sign if you have positive feedback, right? So this is the generic formulation you just need to put the values of feed forward gain and the loop gain into this expression. So if we put these values in this expression, we will get k of s into g of s divided by 1 and this minus and this minus we will be having plus over here. So it will be 1 plus k of s g of s into h of s. So that is the generic form of the transfer function. So in this easy and generic way, you can compute the transfer function of any closed loop system. The only thing that you need to know is the feed forward and loop gain. And that is simply the product of the respective transfer functions in each path. So hopefully you have got the point. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel, Electrical Lectures.